Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. I'll joke around and act like it's a big joke and funny and stuff, but on the inside, it, it, it hurts. It's, it's hard. Millions of Americans, including a lot of folks right here in Central Texas, struggling day to day during this COVID-19 pandemic. Now, after sitting in stimulus limbo for days, President Trump has signed that highly anticipated stimulus package, meaning millions will continue to get some type of pandemic aid. Tonight, 25 News reporter Paige Ellenberger joins us to explain how this is crucial for some families here in Central Texas. With millions of Texans still unemployed at the hands of the pandemic, many can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that their benefits aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Jason Van Loo is grouped with many Texans struggling to pay bills after getting laid off by his corporate job. It's been hard. Um, you know, I have, have gone to where I'm donating plasma twice a week just, you know, to put a little extra food on the table to where we don't have to go into our bank account. Turns out he's not alone. We saw a gigantic spike in, in the time right after COVID-19. Uh, we had about six years worth of unemployment claims in just a few months. After a week of hesitation, President Trump signed a $900 billion stimulus package yesterday, including an 11-week extension for unemployment claims, an additional $300 weekly bonus, and a $600 check for many Americans, a price the president once raised. And a lot of people think that $2,000 is too much per person and whatnot, but in these times, it's very much needed. There's a lot of people that are behind in bills. A lot of people can't pay their rent or mortgages. But those benefits won't last forever. It's important to, to recognize that unemployment benefits are not permanent. They're a benefit to help people get through a difficult time and to move and get back in the workforce. And for people like Van Lu, he says $600 is better than nothing. Anybody out there that's in the same boat I'm in, you know, my, prayer, my prayers go out to everyone and prayers go out to myself, you know, fingers crossed things get a little bit better in the next few months. Those at the Texas Workforce Solutions advise people that if you need help finding a job, to reach out and utilize their many resources, including their virtual job fairs. Reporting in Colleen, Paige Ellenberger, 25 News.